Throughout the Tudor period, there were many executions, and Henry VIII throughout his reign ordered around 70,000 people to the executioner's scaffolds around England. He even sent two of his own wives, for his children would be equally as brutal in their own ways. Edward VI, Henry VIII's successor and son, would change the face of English religion forever, but Mary I, his eldest daughter, would be known as Bloody Mary, for the large-scale Protestant burnings that occurred with over 200 people being burned at the stake in public executions that cemented the Tudor period as one of being a bloodbath. But there was one woman from Derby, a city in the Midlands who was blind, but for refusing to recant her Protestant beliefs, she was executed and burned in a large execution. Join us today as we look at the horrific execution of the blind woman burned by Bloody Mary, and remember as always to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Joan Waste was born around 1534 in Derby, the city where she would spend all of her life and where she would be killed. She was born blind and was a twin, and her father was a barber inside the city. She was named after her mother, but at the age of 12, despite being unable to see, she had managed to somehow master how to knit very well, and also she worked with her father as a rope maker, and became rather skilled at this. But when Joan was 19, her whole life would be uprooted and changed. Mary I came onto the throne, and many people across England feared the changes she would bring. The Catholic Mary restored Catholicism as England's religion, and also outlawed Protestantism, and made it illegal to hold these beliefs. As mentioned, at least 284 people who were Protestant, including the former Archbishop of Canterbury Thomas Cranmer, and Bishops Hugh Latimer and Nicholas Ridley, were burned at the stake and were seen as heretics. Religious crimes were considered the worst evils in the Tudor period, and they were dealt with very brutally. Some were offered the chance to recant, but decided to go to the stake, and die a man or woman of their principles. Mary I was struggling at the time to conceive a child and also give birth to one, and following a phantom pregnancy which disappointed many in England, she believed she was being punished by God. Mary believed that God would not grant her a child until she instigated harsher punishments on religious criminals and Protestants, and further people were burned at the stake. In some places and towns, numerous people were burned on the same fire, and these scenes in particular haunted the people who watched public executions during the Tudor times. To see someone or many people burning in front of your eyes would have been truly horrific. Joan Waste held Protestant beliefs, and despite the fact she was disabled and could not see, the whole law book was thrown at her. She was called before a Catholic tribunal, made up of the Bishop of Lichfield and Coventry, Ralph Baines, and Chancellor Anthony Draycott. During this trial, she was asked to explain herself and her religious beliefs, and also to defend herself. But the judges were not satisfied with the answers she gave, and she spoke out simply telling people what she believed. She believed that the Protestant way was the right way, and she refused to accept the church services, which were now being reverted back to Latin, a language very few people across the nation could understand. She viewed the English Protestant services as much more rewarding, and with this protested against Mary I's beliefs. She had also brought a New Testament, which had been translated into English, and she asked her many friends, as she could not see, to read it for her. Joan would then pay them a penny each time for doing this, and she also denied that the bread and wine could be changed into the body in the blood of Christ, which was a Catholic belief. Joan Waste's trial took place in All Saints Parish Church, which has today been rebuilt, and is today known as Derby Cathedral. But for her crime, she was sentenced to death. It was to be burning at the stake for Joan, like a number of others across the nation. Today, holding different religious beliefs is no issue, but during the 16th century it was a huge crime and offence. On the 1st of August 1556, she was to be executed, and on the day of her death she walked with her twin brother, and he held her hand and guided her as she walked towards her death ordeal. First she was accompanied to church by Anthony Draycott, who gave a final sermon for her life, along with other prominent priests. It was said Draycott stated, This woman is condemned for denying the sacrament of the altar, to be the very body and blood of Christ, really and substantially, and is for this reason cut off from the body of the Catholic Church. Dr Draycott began, and went on to say that, She is not only blind in her bodily eyes, but also blind in the eyes of her soul. And as her body will soon be consumed with material fire, so her soul will be burned in hell with everlasting fire, 
as soon as it is separated from her body. There it will remain, world without end. He then forbade everybody to pray for her, issuing many terrible threats against anyone that dared to do so, and finally he then gave the order to burn Joan Waste to death. Her execution was to take place at Windmill Pit on Burton Road in Derby. It was said that Joan desired the people to pray for her, and said such prayers as she had learned, and cried upon Christ to have mercy upon her, as long as life served Dr. Draycott, who went to his inn, and there laid down and he slept during all the time of her execution. So the very man who sentenced her to death could not bear to witness the proceedings of the blind lady burning. Joan was to be burned alive, however she was also to be hanged over the fire with a rope, which was intended to kill her, and then she would be burned dead on the fire. But this did not go well. As Joan was hanged over the fire, and the noose was around her neck, the flames rose higher, to the point where the rope burned through and she fell into the blazing inferno. It would have been a harrowing sight for people to have seen and smelt, and Joan was expected to suffer for her beliefs, and be damned for eternity. Burning at the stake was incredibly tough, as it would take a number of minutes for someone to succumb to their fate, and there were many chances for it to have gone wrong. But on the fire there inside of Derby, she was burned alive. Today there are a number of memorials to Joan Waste, and ironically the place where she was executed now marks the site of a Roman Catholic church that possessed the very beliefs and ideas that condemned Joan Waste to death. Later, the Bishop of Coventry in Lichfield, who ordered her execution, was sacked when Elizabeth I came onto the throne, and he was then sent to prison by the Bishop of London. Draycott, who also ordered the killing, was a prisoner of the Fleet Prison in London, and he then died in 1571. But the story and execution of Joan Waste was an incredibly tragic and harrowing one, in which a blind woman of around 22 years of age was burned alive. She was not old at all when she made her way to her death, and she was a talented and skilled woman who made the best of the life she had. She was a skilled rope maker, and despite being blind, created a good reputation for herself in her local area. But ultimately she encountered problems with regards to her religious views, and she was just one of many who were executed during the short five-year reign of Bloody Mary for holding different religious beliefs. Her story today is one that is often forgotten, but it definitely deserves to be told. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.